thanks for joining me today. This is Sean, and in this video, we're going to talk about QR codes. A teacher sent me a message this week asking how to use some of the QR code extensions that they had found on the Chrome Web Store. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can use those. First and foremost, um, looking for QR codes, uh, there are a couple. Uh, the two that I use are the QR code extension and I also use the Google URL shortener because it has a QR code tool inside it. So these are both great tools to use. All you have to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and look for both of those extensions. Now in this case I have a video that I want my students to see and I want them to be able to scan it with a QR reader on their mobile device. So all you have to do is go to the link where your video is found. In this case I'm on YouTube and here's my video and with the ways that these extensions work all you have to do is click on the extension and it generates the QR code for that site as you can see the URL link in this QR code matches up with the actual URL link, URL link for my YouTube video so I can edit this QR code and here we are we're at the QR code generator website and I can save this if I want to so I'm going to save it to my computer I'm going to call this YouTube video. I'm going to save it as a ping file because those usually show up pretty well on the web and on printed documents. And it's downloading to my downloads folder. Now, if I wanted to show this somewhere, I could either put this image of this QR code in a document and then print it and then post it somewhere in the school as sort of a scavenger hunt item or if I want to I can put it on my website. Now I'm going to go over to my Google site and here I'm going to click on edit page and since I've already downloaded this file all I have to do is click insert image and then I can upload that image from my downloads folder click open it uploads the file and then I click OK and there it is on my page and I can add a little comment, scan this code for our scavenger hunt. And then save it. And then that way, when the kids get to this website, they can scan that code with their phone. Now the other option that I told you I used is the Google Shortener. Uh, Google Shortener is great because if you have a long URL link that's difficult to remember or you want to you want to put it on Twitter or Facebook and you just want it to be shorter all you have to do is visit the site that you want people to go to and then click on the Google URL shortener extension and it's copying that and shortening it but in addition to that it's also got a QR code tool all I have to do is click on that then it shows me my QR code from here I can right click and copy the image or save it but I'm going to copy the image URL because I'm going to show you a trick that you can use with Google Sites. From Google Sites if I'm wanting to add this QR code here I am back on my page I click edit and I'm going to backspace over this one and start all over again. So since I copied the image URL all I have to do is click insert image and then web address I paste that address in there and there's my QR code. I click OK. I can adjust the size however I want it to be on the page and then save. So there you are. There's two simple extensions. There's the QR code extension and the Google URL shortener. Both of those can be used to generate QR codes. Then you just simply paste them into a document and print or put them on your website. One key tip to remember always test your QR codes yourself so that they work so that you know that they work in your classroom. Well thanks for joining me today and if you have any other questions in the future feel free to let me know.